Hi everyone, it's the English Sinner here and welcome back to part 16 of my Realm of Magic Let's Play. Well hi there everyone, it has been a little while since I recorded this Let's Play. I actually think the last upload of this was on the 5th of November, remember remember the 5th of November for all you UK folks out there who celebrate Bonfire Night. I wasn't even in the country. I was still at Sims Camp for Discover University and I hadn't even told you guys about it by the time I was recording this and posting it. So I am back. It's been a while. I've been posting a lot of university content because obviously it's the new expansion. So if you haven't gone to check out my university stuff, you should go do that. I'm having a lot of fun with it. But enough about uni. This is Realm of Magic, baby. So we are here with Brody. And as I said in the last part, we're actually gonna take Varun along with us to the magic realm, which I know Ingrid is not gonna be happy about, but we're gonna invite him to hang out at the current lot. It is Thursday, he should definitely be in school right now. Although, let's be real, I feel like Sulani isn't the type of place that even has like it probably has like a tiny school or like the kids just like go to the library or the community center to learn like that's the kind of vibe it gives me like the elders um mainly teach them there's not really like teachers there which teachers are now a thing in the sims 4 which is kind of crazy i've yet to play with one because obviously i only have my sims in uni dude why are you doing that you have magic we're gonna go share a secret with Lil Varun. We're gonna be like, dude, come inside. I'm gonna show you the magic. Look, he's telling him a secret. Uh, we should probably add him to our group. So let's go here together. We are gonna show off our magic scrubberoo spell to Lil Varun. Okay, stop talking. Get in the flat together. And then like I said, we are gonna take him to the realm of magic. Um, obviously, he now knows that we are his uncle. He knows that we're not his father. He definitely thought we were his dad, but we aren't and now he knows it. Please don't leave. Varun, I swear. Did he just go downstairs or like, did he, did he leave, leave? I felt like he probably left, left. Oh no, he's just gone. Okay, so Kid clearly isn't that fussed about magic, to be completely honest, because he's just gone on his phone and we've gone to play in the rain. It's raining, man. All right. Oh my god, my keyboard sound actually sounded like the drums to It's Raining Men. Incredible. Wow. Such a musically talented person. We are gonna travel to this empty little lot of Glimmerbrook Watch. We're gonna take him through the portal. We are gonna show him around Glimmerbrook. I want him to fully embrace his magical ways. Obviously, he knows that he's probably magic, but actually he does know because he did it in Creator Sim. If I remember correctly from my own Let's Play, I can't believe I have like, what, four parts of this LP left? Like, that is wild. Also, I started this Let's Play like so soon after moving into my new house and now I feel like I've been in this house forever. So it's really strange, the changes that we go through uh, throughout the seasons. He's just really not impressed, is he? He's like, I'm not even gonna run. I am just slowly going to waltz my way there. <laughs> Maybe we should buy him a broom. Oh yeah, kids can't ride brooms. But you guys did tell me, because I was complaining in the last part about how kids could do like absolutely nothing when it came to Realm of Magic. You guys actually told me that they can have familiars. So I think we're actually gonna buy Varun a familiar, which we all know Ingrid is not gonna be happy about. He is gonna whip that out. Like, I was gonna say he's gonna whip that out at night under his covers, but 
that's not the kind of familiar I want him to have. Um, so we're gonna buy him a familiar. He's probably gonna try and keep it a secret from his mom, but, but let's be real. Ingrid is pretty intrusive when she wants to be. I think she just like wants to like coddle the kids so much because you know, being a single parent is hard, especially when your co-parent has died. Um, and I think she's just really protective of them. Like, I think she wants to give them like the best life possible, but she does kind of molly coddle them a little bit. Why is that called molly coddling? Like, no one ever coddled me. I feel like I was coddled, actually. That's a lie. I am the baby of my family and all my brothers and sisters all say that my mum was far too easy on me. Seriously, Varun, get your ass over here. Why is it taken so long? Um, we could do Grand Delicioso, but we're not actually, okay, he's here, he's walking on water, and we are gonna travel to the magic realm with Varun. Get in here, dude. I mean, you kinda dumb. You're just kind of like following a geezer who you just met in the last part into a portal that you have no idea what it is, but we are gonna enter the portal. Clearly, Ingrid might modelly coddle them, but she definitely hasn't warned them about not talking to strangers because he met, what's his face? <laughs> I can't remember his name, Brody, online. And then he met up with him in San Myshuno, of all places, which is a grungy little city, and now he's gone into the magic realm with him. But you know what? Yeah, dude, you are gonna get a cupcake. Well, no, actually, you're not gonna get a cupcake, but you are gonna get a magical familiar. Um, so let's go to Castor's Alley, and maybe we will buy him a broom? I don't know. We can't teleport, which is real annoying. He is gonna go talk to someone, apparently. Oh my god, he's gonna be like, oh my god, I can't wait to see him walk through these doors. Come on, mate. Oh, look, he's entering. He's like, this is the magic realm? Oh my goodness, look at him. He's so proud to be here. He's like, I belong here. He knows that his dad was a freaking like menace when it came to spells and being a spellcaster. And he definitely feels as if this was his calling, which is kind of terrifying because that's exactly how Vince felt. And then he lost all of his power. <laughs> Who's he going to speak to? I think he was gonna go speak to Yuki, who is over here with Morgan actually. Oh boy, you are, oh, is he actually, he has no fear. Boy is, as Taylor Swift would say, fearless. He's like, hi Morgan, did you know my dad? My dad was Vincent. I hear he was a really great spellcaster. Wait, we don't have his thing here anymore. It's over in the gardens, isn't it? We're actually gonna show him his dad's grave, which sounds horrendous. We probably shouldn't do that. I feel quite bad. But let's bring him over to Castor's Alley. So let's go here together, please, boys. Oh my word, I just had to wait like another 10 minutes for him to arrive. So let's go buy wands and tomes and we're gonna gift it to him. He's like, dude, I wanna live here. Why the heck did I have to move to Sulani? Oh, we could get him a leaf bat, the same as his mum. Or there's the orb of the dragon, regal and powerful. I mean, that's the one that his dad had. So we have the one that his dad had and we have the one that his mum had, or we have the fairy. And honestly, I feel like he'd buy him the dragon. I definitely feel like that would be the case. And then we're just gonna get him a wooden wand. I know he can't use it, but I wanna just get it for him. So can we give you a gift? Yes, we can. Okay, let's give him the dragon familiar first of all, and then we're also gonna gift him with the wand as well. Oh my god. Wait, why can't we do it? What the heck? Why did you just cancel out of that? Friendly gift, orb of the dragon. Oh, he's like, for me? Is it magical? Is he excited? 
Oh, uh, I mean, he's kind of like, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> he doesn't seem that excited. No, 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 wait. Also, give him the wooden wand. He definitely needs the wand. I'm unfortunately not playing as him, so I hope these are in his inventory, like when I actually do go back to their household as an active household. But he now has a wooden wand as well. And I guess it's about time we introduce him to his father. This is kind of upsetting. I feel like he should be doing this with his mum for sure. But we are gonna go here together. And once again, I'm gonna have to wait like half an hour for him to arrive. So we're actually gonna mourn Vincent, which is probably gonna make us sad. Unfortunately, I'm not controlling him, so I can't get him to mourn him, but we can actually do necro call. So I'm gonna go to his spell book and see what necro call actually is. So I think it's part of practical magic or maybe it's, uh, Maybe it's untamed. Where is Necrocall? Summon the dead from their final resting place. We're actually gonna do that. I think what this does. Magic Necrocall. No, no, wait, do, 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 do not, do not, do not. Seriously, okay, stop. We need to go here together. I want him to stay because I want him to freaking see his dad. So let's necro call Vincent. I'm hoping this doesn't add him to my family. I probably should have saved before doing this. I think it just brings his ghost though. Like if you want to interact with his ghost. <gasps> there we go, it did. Dude, your dad is here and you want to go speak to Morgan? Oh my god, that just sums it up, doesn't it? That definitely just sums it up. I can add him to our group. <gasps> okay, let's go. Dude, stop walking off. It's 4 p.m. You cannot be tired. Are you for reals right now? He's not even phased about his dad. He genuinely just wants to like go and play with magic. Like that's, you can tell that's all he wants to do. I don't even know where he went. He didn't even pay any attention to Vincent whatsoever. I feel like that is definitely gonna have an effect on Vince. Uh oh, I think he's gonna feel a bit salty and he's not gonna like Brody. Oof, damn. Jealousy from beyond the grave. That's not what you need in life, is it? You definitely don't need a ghost being jealous of you. And oh, Brody, I can't see this ending well for you, dude. Uh, first you told him about magic, so Ingrid is gonna hate your gut. Uh, then you also brought him to the magic realm and gave him magical gifts. And, uh, you also introduced him to his dead father, which is definitely something I feel like either his father's best friend or his mother should have done. So really, you just, you just kind of ignored the boundaries and just completely just ran over them like you didn't even pay attention to the freaking boundaries damn bob bob is looking good when did bob become a sexy spellcaster excuse me who told you this was okay mr bob pancakes anyway guys i think i'm gonna quickly switch back over to uh the original fam ingrid and the gang uh so that i can play as the kid for the last 10 minutes maybe maybe even five minutes of this part because i want to mess around with his familiar still sounds wrong still sounds like i'm trying to say a dirty euphemism when i'm really not i'm just trying to say that i genuinely want him to like experience his familiar anyways let's ignore that oh my god this is amazing i don't know how this has happened but he also has a glimmer stone in his inventory but i am actually gonna come over to his light i'm gonna turn off this room because i actually want him to like whip out the familiar so we are gonna bind this familiar it's called bruce lee i'm actually gonna call it brody after brody so we're actually gonna call it brody 
it sounds so English, um, but we're just gonna spell it that way. So we bound our familiar and let's summon it. No, 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 do not do that outside. Oh my God, I swear. I want you to do it in your room. I want him to do it in a place where Ingrid isn't gonna see it. So maybe you will actually head out. Is like the little covey bit over in this area? No, but there's like spaces where we could, where we could do this that our mum isn't gonna see. There's actually like a beach over here. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna sort this familiar out. So we're like, yeah, mom, I'm just going for a swim at 7 p.m. You know, Sulani is one of those places where everyone is very trusting and you can kind of just let your sim like roam around your child. Like no one really is gonna bother them and she knows that. So we are at the beach. Let's summon our familiar. <gasps> Varun, you sneaky, sneaky one. Yay. Oh my god, he's here. <gasps> oh, I think I got rid of the mod that allows me to like talk to him. Oh no. Oh, he's really cold. Okay, dude, change your outfit. Change outfit into, um, we'll go for this one. Hopefully then we won't be cold. Okay, we're not cold. Look, we got a little dragon owl. Active familiar. Varun's familiar fills him with confidence. Familiars make your magic more potent and offer a protection from death that is still not fully understood. And he's just playing in the sand with his little familiar. I'm gonna choose always use ones. I don't know why that's an option because he physically cannot do magic because he is a child. Um, but Ingrid, I'm gonna have you serve some dinner, friendo. Uh, make some fish tacos for the kids. Oh, she changed her hair. She was a redhead. Don't worry. Th this is like a good glitch though to have as a spellcaster because her hair just like changes whenever she sneezes and she doesn't really understand it. I actually saw one of you guys comment in the last part that Ingrid would just tell her that it was allergies, which I find hilarious. She's just like, yeah, it's just the Sulani Sia, you know, it's nothing, nothing to be worried about. You don't have to worry about it. It's fine. You know, some people's hair just, just does that. <laughs> She's not going to tell her that it's magic. She is trying to stay far away from magic, as far away from magic as she possibly can. He is so excited. He's like, my dream is coming true. I'm scared. I see him turning out like his dad. And he definitely doesn't have the best magical leader in his life right now. Oh, she's so cute. I love Victoria so, so much. Actually, one of you guys also commented that maybe Victoria can have like this conflict of becoming a mermaid. Cause like I said, she really loves Sulani. She loves like being out in the sun and the sea. She thoroughly enjoys it. Whereas Varun definitely hasn't embraced the Sulani lifestyle like his sister has. So maybe once she becomes a teenager, she's like, ooh, do I want to become a mermaid and get rid of my spell cast away? I honestly think she would be so happy about that she would be like hell yes please do it and i'm gonna have him come grab a serving but guys i think i'm gonna end this part here so thank you all so so much for tuning in i haven't really decided what we're doing in the next part i have an idea in mind uh i think i'm gonna go about it uh which is gonna be exciting but thank you all so much for tuning in i hope you all enjoyed this part of realm of magic honestly i don't know why it took me this long to get back into recording it i just have this weird thing where when I don't record something for a really long time even though I know what I want to do in the part it's just really hard for me to get back into the habit of recording it so I'm glad now that I'm back and I'm probably gonna record a few parts all together I actually might just like finish this in over the next few days um like fully focus on it and get like the story all done because honestly I think this this story is one of my favorites per Personally, I know so many people have been like, Realm of Magic just wasn't for me. And whilst I'm like, yeah, that's cool. 
like everyone has their own opinions. I genuinely think this has been one of my favorite Let's Plays just because of the story I've done with it. Like I feel like I've explored the pack, but I've also created like really distinctive characters and these amazing storylines. So I have thoroughly enjoyed my playthrough of Realm of Magic. Let me know how you guys felt about Realm of Magic. It's been out for like a fair few months now, so I am intrigued to know like how you actually feel about it now that you've probably played through it all. So let me know how you feel about Realm of Magic in the comments down below, and I will speak to you all in my next part. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.